So you've sp spoken about him before. I think it'd be nice to maybe honor him to break it apart a little bit. Who? Aaron Schwartz. Yeah. Uh, why was he a special human being in this uh, ilk of what we're talking about now, civil disobedience? Um, how do we honor him now moving forward as human beings who are willing to take risks in this world? Well, I don't know. I mean, do you, are you inspired by Aaron Schwartz? I am. How do you what? feel about JSTOR? Let's talk about JSTOR first. So let's 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 say what JSTOR is all about. Mm -hmm. right? We, the taxpayer, pay for research, and then <laughs> the people who do the research do all the work for a bunch of companies who then charge us thirty dollars an article to read what it is that we already paid for. And if we don't cite these articles, uh, we're told that we're in violation. Okay, I almost never call for civil disobedience because I don't really want to, yeah. but fuck JSTOR, yeah. fuck Elsevier, fuck Springer. Who the fuck are these people? Yeah. Get, the smart people need to take the greedy people behind the woodshed and explain to them what science is. I have a very old fashioned idea that's so out of favor that uh, I will immediately be seen as a knuckle dragger. Yeah. I believe in the great woman theory of history and the great man theory of history. Emmy Nerder is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, that's an example. And I believe in editors over peer reviewers. And I believe that wrong things should be allowed into the literature. And I believe that the gatekeeping should go towards zero because the costs uh, associated with distribution are very, very slight. I believe that um, we should be looking at the perverse incentives of sending your paper blindly into your competitor's clutches, particularly if you're a young person being reviewed by an older person. Uh, are you familiar with the, the Duat de Senor? No. Are you familiar with the legend of the Magnaia? No. The Magnaia is the miller's daughter. And the largest food fight in the entire universe, I believe, is held, I think, in Italy. Uh, it's called the Battle of the Oranges. And it yeah. celebrates the miller's daughter who had fallen in love with her beloved. And when it came time for them to marry, uh, the virginal Magnaia was, in fact, uh, told that the lord uh, of the land had the right to have the first night with the bride. Mm -hmm. Well, the Magnaia had a different idea. So she seemed to consent to this uh, perhaps mythical rite, also called uh, the, the prima note, the first night. Mm -hmm. And by, by legend, she concealed a dagger underneath her robes. And when it came time for the, the hated lord of the manor to extract uh, this rite, uh, she pulled the knife out and killed him. And I think it also echoes a little bit of particularly wonderful scene from Game of Thrones. Uh, but that inspired both men and women. And the Magnaia is the legendary hero. Um, right now, what we need to do is we need to resist the prima note, the right of first look, right? Mm -hmm. F you. You don't have the right of first look. I don't want to send something blindly to my competitors. I don't want to subject myself to you naming what what work I've done. Why, why are you in my story? That's my question. Get out of my story. I, if I do work, uh, and then you have an idea, oh, well, it's the Matthew principle. To him uh, who has much more will be given. I've gone to the National Academy of Sciences and talked about these things. And it's funny, I've been laughed at by the older people who think, well, Eric, you know, science proceeds funeral by funeral, that's plonk. You know yeah. the Matthew principle, you know the Matilda principle, that things done by women are attributed to men. Th these are not new. And like, and you guys just live like this? Yeah. So the Revolutionary Act now is to resist all of these things that we need we're, these we're, things that are not new. So you asked me about Aaron Schwartz. Yeah. Aaron Schwartz was the Magnaia. One of the things you've done very beautifully is to communicate love. And I think about, you know, some of our conversations. And you got me to talk a little bit about my own experiences and uh, 02138 and 39. Mm -hmm. um, we are the product of our trauma. And what people don't understand is, is that very often when you see people 
taking countermeasures against what appear to be imaginary forces. They're really actually replaying things that really happened to them. And having been through this system and watching all of the ways in which it completely rewrites the lives of the people who I am counting on to cure our diseases, build our new industries, keep us safe from our foes, the amount of pressure the system is putting on the most hopeful minds is unimaginable. And so my, my goal is to empower somebody like an Aaron Schwartz in memory and to talk about a Jeffrey Epstein situation.